What's it like working with Kevin Hart? Oh my God, man. It's like literally not working. Literally. It's like not working because we're, we're there every day doing nothing, acting a fool. And that is like the greatest thing to do. Yeah, we have lines and we have to remember them, but it's like <clears throat> you're working with Kevin Hart, man. You already know what type of clown this dude is. Anything goes. You know, you might get your, your, your eye poked. You might get your, 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 a finger put in your ear, your nose, your mouth. It's, it, it's crazy on the set, man. And I think just working with him is, is just a blessing because, you know, he's a, he's a person that one of the top comedians right now. And I love comedy. And you know, it just just to be there is 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 unbelievable, man. I think I think every moment, and I and I just I just thank I just thank for being there, man. You know what I like about Kevin the most, man. As much as Kevin works right now, and the world knows him for working as much. Now I'm gonna be honest. Kevin has Real Husbands of Hollywood. It's a great show. It's one of the number one shows. Kevin doesn't have to do this show. You know, he he's doing something that that keeps him going, like if he's not doing a movie, but you would think it was Kevin's heart first day ever getting a job on set when you're working with him, man, because he's so humble. When they call him to set, he's right there. He's giving you, he knows all his shit. He knows his lines. It's not like he's being a Hollywood dude coming up to set late or saying this. He's very professional, man, and he makes you feel comfortable and makes you feel good at work. It's like, damn, when you get off work, you're like, damn, we off? Damn, man, can we come? Can we get an extra hour? It's like, come on, please. It's like, it, it's just it's just fun to be around the dude, man, and, and it's fun to learn, you know, from people that's doing stuff that you're working your way to do, like, because it, 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 you get to see how they do it, you know, and to watch him do it, it's like, man, God got me here for a reason, you know, not just to be here working to learn something from him. And that's what I'm doing, man. And I and, and I and I thank Kev for having me on the show. And, and, and I hope, you know, he continue to do everything that he's doing, you know. Well, you know, I mean, it's interesting about Kevin Hart because I remember when when Kevin Hart was still at a, at a very high level. I mean, not quite where he is right now, but when he was at a high level, you know, he was doing YouTube videos. He was doing Chocolate Dropper and stuff like that. Like, I know a lot of other, you know, actors and comedians that, you know, I've interviewed who are nowhere near his level, never get starring roles, always get supporting roles. And, you know, like, yeah, I don't do that YouTube stuff anymore. I'm just focusing on movies and stuff like that. It seemed like the level of humbleness that he had allowed him to get to the position that he's in. Yep. It definitely probably had 100% <laughs> uh, to do with it because it's like think man Kevin undone DVD movies he done done movies that was big that failed you know so man and if you think about it he never gave up so for any kids that look up to entertainers and, and you see him like oh he did this and you haven't seen him in a while Kevin was a person who just kept himself going he got all the criticize about soul man and this and that now look at him every movie that he's done is number one you know, everything that he's doing is, is is huge. Yeah, you might see Kevin be like, God damn, again? I'm tired of seeing your ass. But look at him now. You know, he never stopped and he's still not stopping. You know, I think he's great at advertising himself. You know, at, 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 uh, he's like his he's like his own PR. You know, he does stuff that some people like. You got to think, nowadays, you got to think Eddie Murphy and them is already huge. But of course, how much huger they could have been if we had the stuff that we got now like the twitter the instagram the facebook the myspace and all this stuff so kevin has which we all do now you know upper hand to make ourselves even more big because it's so many people in this world that don't know you that can know you just off of an instagram or twitter a, a myspace a facebook or whatever that's out there you know snapchat all this stuff i need to get a check for all these things i just put it out there too just so y'all know that black history month <laughs> but um but uh but um it, it you know just for for kevin to just keep going man and never give up after being criticized for this and that and going through whatever he's been through in his life you know he's still going man and i know his mom is passing i know his mom is very happy of him you know what i'm saying she's very proud and he and i love it because he's he, he's he's a humble guy man he deserves everything he's got and, and I'm glad to be a person that knows him. Well, remember there was that whole thing happened where all the Sony leaks. There were some emails that were calling him money hungry and he responded to that and said, 
Man, I've, I've worked hard to get my brand to this point. Come on, man. How you, come on. You, you ain't been to Kevin House, but I have. He got bills to pay. Come on, man. You can't have a big-ass house like that and, and, and keep getting whatever you getting for a movie. It's time to move on up. You're giving Chris Tucker $20 million, $30 million to do a movie with Jack Chan, Jackie Chan franchising. He done made, not to say him and Ice Cube, they think undid this and, and, and his other uh, movie, the uh, Steve Harvey joints. This man has made a lot of stuff, man. Not to say, like, come on, you, you, it's time to make the man, the money go up, you know. And, and it, it's not to say he's asking for, like, I deserve it, I need it. Yeah, he do deserve it and need it. I mean, this dude is working nonstop all day, every day. He's giving you comedy, he's giving you TV, and he's giving you film. Make that man check go up. He deserve it. And if Sony got a problem, which I bet they don't because he's making them so much money, I bet you they fix that problem.